criminal defense attorney Anthony Chambers who represented the underwear bomber in his trial. He's going to be joining us throughout the jury selection, kind of walking us through this entire process as it happens. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Huge task ahead here. 400 jurors filling out a questionnaire tomorrow. First of all, jury selection process alone, how long do you think this part of this will take? Absolutely. I would think that the jury selection process may take upwards of a few weeks in this case. The questionnaire, however, should help because the lawyers will have a lot of information about the prospective jurors even before they come in the courtroom. As Heather mentioned, we don't know exactly what is on that questionnaire, but in talking to you before, you said you think you've got a good idea of, of some of what's going to be on there. Absolutely. Certainly you know you're going to have race, gender questions on there. You'll also have questions about personal background. Then you'll have questions relative to their knowledge of the case and how much media attention they've been exposed to, as well as the source of that media attention. And finally, I would expect that they will be asking the jurors what their impressions of Kwame Kilpatrick and the administration are. You know, we know that both sides get certain, I think it's voir dire, where they can, you know, let jurors go for no reason at all, uh, and then some for cause. Do we have any indication at this point of how many of those they get? I'm not sure in this case how many Judge Edmonds will give them what's called preemptory challenges. Those are challenges to a juror for any reason or none at all. The others would be for cause, too much media exposure, or they're biased or they seem not to be able to put something aside. However, we don't know what the preempts are right now. I'd expect many more than the norm. You heard uh, them say in that story there that it's kind of a lot like dating in the jury selection process, just gut. You go with your gut. What do you think about that? You've well, been involved in these cases and you've been an attorney in high prof profile cases, including the Bobby, Bobby Ferguson trial as well. That's correct. I think there's some gut involved, but in this case there's going to be a lot more precision because you don't get with dating a questionnaire. You can't ask 50 questions yeah, or 75 but, questions before you decide to go on a date with somebody. But it, to a certain degree you still have to have that feeling inside that says that this, is, this person I just don't feel right about this person. At the end of the day, you're going to evaluate the information they've provided, whether or not you think they've been honest and candid, and then you'll make a feel on it. And you'll say, I do or don't like this person, and you'll probably rank them, maybe one to ten, so that you feel like they're good for you, they're bad for you, and you'll talk to your client as well. Heather reported yesterday, the big news coming out, that there's going to be this like anonymous jury. You dealt with an anonymous jury in the underwear bomber case, correct? We did. Is that a good decision, do you think, the judge made to keep this in a semi-anonymous jury? I think it is a very good decision because it takes some of the pressure away from prospective jurors. If a prospective juror thinks that they're going to be identified and potentially followed by the media or they'll be at their home or located, it puts more pressure on them setting and hearing and evaluating the evidence. So I think that's a very good decision by Judge Edmund. And the, and the idea of the public has a right to know who these people are, you just don't think that that's a fair well, I, th I think that the public has a right to know if they don't invade in their privacy. And perhaps you release their names at the conclusion of the matter, but not during. All right. We thank you so much for joining us. I know we're going to be talking to you, uh, Anthony, during this whole process. So thank you, Anthony Chambers. Thank you. We literally think it's going to be a long process, I think. So we'll have many more conversations. Well, thank All right. you very thank much. Thank you very much. Diane.